channel and today we're going to do a Q&A. Um, we're going to do short and sweet answers because we did get a lot of questions. Um, if your questions are not answered in this video, please leave them in the comments below and we will be sure to do a Q&A later in life. Okay, questions at some point. At some point. <laughs> so we're going to answer all of our, um, our patrons questions first because they're awesome. Yes, if you want to be a patron. Click the link below. I haven't seen. Oh, there we are. All right, good. Okay, so the first question is, how long do we plan on living on a sailboat and sailing the world? We should switch off. Okay, so the answer is, we don't know and we don't know. <laughs> so uh, the reason we don't know is because realistically, like last August, I should have been an airline pilot. That's always been my like goals and my dream is to go to the airlines, be a pilot. And then as everybody knows, COVID happened and kind of ruined that. Um, so since that happened, we decided to go sailing. And so we really don't know. We're just kind of taking it a day at a time. If we get out there and we love it and we end up making enough money, whether it's YouTube, you know, Patreon, whatever, we'll stay out there a lot longer. If not, a year or two, we'll be back and I'll go to the airlines. Yeah, just kind of go where the wind takes us. What was it that drove us toward this lifestyle? Uh, we're super impulsive people and we love adventure and we want to see the world and we thought what better way than to just buy a sailboat and live super cheap and just like go wherever we want. So we got a sailboat and now like gas is super cheap. We can get super cheap food, you know, and just kind of stock up on like canned foods. They're all like under a dollar. Um, and so we have been taking the boat out almost every day for like 10 days now and we went and filled up our uh, diesel yesterday because we were like oh man we're probably getting low what we'd only used like three gallons four gallons in, in like 12 days, days. <laughs> I mean obviously we're sailing but we're motoring all the way out of it like to the channel and into the bay so pretty amazing um, also side note this brand here Neptunic they're amazing. They're a uh, shark conservation brand, which is like a huge passion of mine to help stop shark finning. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Um, unfortunately, people kill over 100 million sharks every year, brutally, and it's, it's terrible. But anyways, the point of that is this company is amazing. I actually found this company on another sailing channel and fell in love with them. And now they're our best friends. Yes, we love you guys. Mwah. Next question. What has been the most difficult thing to get used to uh, living aboard a sailboat. Now, if you could see Nellie's arms and legs, and if we didn't have hair. You can't hair. see, but I'm sure. <laughs> this bruise, I just hit the shies out of my knee. Honestly, they're all kind of going away right now. Like a few days ago, her legs were just covered in bruises. It probably looked really bad, but. Because the doorways are short, we have steps going everywhere, going up the stairs to get out of here. Literally, probably like, 50 times, no, like literally 50 times a day we hit something on our bodies and it's like the most painful thing ever. <laughs> you think it's after- It's so annoying, you just want to die. <laughs> after 100 times we'd realize it, but we're still whacking the crap out of our heads. It's awful. Arms. Next question, first international destination plan. Our first international destination plan is the Bahamas. Uh, we're going to the Keys in a couple weeks and we're going to spend some time there, head up back to West Palm and then we're going to head out to the Bahamas and the Caribbean and wherever the wind takes us. That's right. <laughs> Alright, next question. How much experience do we have? And the answer is zero. Done. <laughs> the only times we'd ever even been on a sailboat was the survey and sea trial of our first boat that didn't work out and then the survey and sea trial of this boat. And then we went out once more with Glenn, the previous owner, and he taught us how to dock basically for a little less than an hour. So not even like a full, like real lesson. We just literally practiced YouTube talking. taught us. YouTube was our experience. <laughs> yeah. So. And we bought the boat and immediately took it out as you'll see in the video that's about yeah. to come out. But. Kind of crazy, so literally zero. But I mean, I did spend, I don't know, 50 hours or more just like actually studying, taking notes on YouTube, learning everything I could, trying to read as many books. I'm not very good at reading, so I did YouTube mostly, but it's it's amazing how much you can really learn from, from YouTube about sailing. 
type of bow and price. So this is a Beneteau 393 Oceanus. Uh, so it's 39 feet and it is a 2006. Uh, the price of this boat originally on the listing was $100,000. And we were like, Ooh. and we were thinking, oh, it's okay, we can get financing. And we tried getting financing and it did not work. You have to have way more like history, um, getting bigger loans like that, and we had none. So yeah. we kind of freaked out. Um, I haven't like, had a personal loan, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I haven't had personal loan history for, um, for finishing up my flying and like getting all that. I had $40,000 in personal loan history and it still wasn't enough for yeah. that. So we got them down to 90,500, which is what we ended up purchasing it for. We were able to scrape up the money with uh, some help from my mom. Love you, mom. <laughs> thank you, Tati. She literally is the only reason we were able to yeah. get this boat. It's... So uh, we are paying her back monthly. Okay. Don't think that it was a gift. <laughs> But it was a gift at the time, uh, so yeah. Okay, um, next question. Um, someone asked about kind of like our experience with the survey. Now here's, I'm just gonna like let you guys know how it works. So basically you find this boat that you love, you put in an offer, and then if it gets accepted, basically you have like a week to find a surveyor. Like, I don't, it's a terrible it's system. It's awful. Yeah. It's awful. Whoever thought of that. I don't know, it's not good. Because surveyors are booked like months in advance, like the good ones. So how does that make sense? Like how are these surveys booked months in advance when, I don't know, maybe the- only have a week. When maybe actually... the rich people have a better system than us poor <sighs> people. But for the poor people, as soon as they accept your offer, you have like a week to get a surveyor. And most of like the really good surveyors are already taken. So you just yeah. kind of like have to find whoever's available. But anyway, so we found these surveyors and they had okay reviews. Not a lot of them have reviews online. You just find someone and you're supposed to, I don't know, ask around or to go with your gut. And they were like, not the best. They were good. She, she doesn't give enough credit. They were good, but like they weren't amazing. They missed a lot. Um, but you, you have to do your research with surveyors, like do it way in advance. If you're planning on putting an offer on the boat, make sure you have a surveyor ready. Done and done. What qualifications do we have? None. <laughs> um, a lot of people think that you have to be like a captain or, um, have all these, like a, a, what are they called? ASA sailing ASA courses. ASA sailing courses. You don't have to. And so we don't. You should. You don't, should. don't take that as us saying you shouldn't because you definitely should. Learn your stuff. Okay. Like if you don't do your own research normally, highly, highly recommend taking some courses. We do have some friends that are captains and lucky for us, our the previous owner of this boat, Glenn, is amazing and has taught us like so many things. Um, so we don't have any qualifications, but you should. If you're not gonna spend like, I probably watch 10 YouTube videos every single night for like a six That's month true. period. Not even lie. If, if you aren't willing to do that, then go take some courses. It's super quick. You can do like a weekend course and you're going to have it. But I mean, if you are willing to like read books and watch hours and hours and hours of YouTube, you then need it. you can probably get away with it. Still don't recommend it, but it's worked for us so far. We haven't crashed yet. Number six. Watermaker. We would love to have a water maker. So for anyone who doesn't know, a water maker is a device you have on board that basically desalinates ocean water so you can be out cruising and it'll suck up water from the ocean and turn it into fresh water so you can drink. Because we only on the boat have 135 gallons of fresh water like in our holding tank. So it goes away with washing dishes, showers, uh, going everything. Th like everything. So it goes pretty quickly. Um, so it'd be nice to have a water maker, but we do not have one currently. Solar panels. Um, so we currently do have three solar panels equaling up to almost 400 watts of solar power. Uh, we've been talking to people around the dock um, and just doing our research and we think that we need around a thousand watts of... Um, so hard because some people are like, oh, 400 is like overpowered. Like you don't need any more than that. And we want to be, like, yeah. 1200 or We want to be completely self-sufficient. So to run everything, to run our chargers, just everything, it's going to take a lot more than 400 watts. Um, so we are planning on getting more before we go. We're still trying to learn as much about solar as we can. Because, yeah, we don't know much. Uh, thank goodness one of our neighbors just down from us, he has, um, 
what is it, like a 40, 40 something foot hunter and he has it decked out with solar and I don't know, it's he's awesome. Got some awesome. He's systems. been super helpful for us. Well, we have cell service and uh, as far as video goes, how videos, how will we post those? So in the Bahamas, um, I have like Sprint T-Mobile. She just got on my, uh, my phone plan. You actually do have free, like low speed internet in the Bahamas. So we won't be able to post videos. We'll have to go to like a coffee shop that has Wi-Fi or Yacht Club or something like that to post the videos. But we will still be able to use our phones just low speed in the Bahamas. Yep. We're not really sure about the other islands, to be honest. We're gonna figure that out as we go. We'll do a little research before we leave the Bahamas. And are we planning on working out on board? Uh, so you'll see in one of the future videos, we just figured out we let off the anchor and we stood on the side of the dock and I was able to do like squats and deadlifts and Banner was curling it. So that, that's one thing. Um, we are planning on working out a little bit, trying to stay in shape. A lot of it is diet. Um, so it's just, once we start catching our own fish and stuff, we're gonna have a lot healthier diet. Um, and we're We wanna get those adjustable dumbbells that you can like twist it and change the weight. And you just have to be creative. Like for instance, the anchor wasn't quite heavy enough. So we let out more chain, which then increased the weight. And like we can do pull-ups on the boom maybe and one day. To one of our workout sponsors, Booty Sprout, whoop whoop, they sent me a hip thrust a hip thrusting machine that like folds up really, really nice. Cool. Um, I'm getting it whenever Nikki comes, so I will be sure to video and show you guys. <laughs> How will we make money? Um, so we've actually made a good amount of money online just with Nelly, like managing her and stuff like that. We can get into that in, a, in another video. Um, but we're hoping to make money on YouTube eventually. We know that's not gonna happen for a little while. Um, Patreon would be great help if we can have some more yeah. subscribers. Thank you to everyone who's already done that and to our future patrons. Um, yeah, it seriously, seriously helps us like stay afloat and helps us keep doing what we're doing. It motivates us to keep doing YouTube videos. Uh, it helps us buy things for the boat that we need. Um, it just helps so much. And you guys get early access to YouTube videos. Uh, we do weekly live streams, which we haven't started yet, but we will. Um, and then eventually we'd like to invite some of our patrons on board. Um, we'll be able to do like weekly raffles and see, pick people to come stay with us for a week. So it's super fun. Yeah, so if, if you just have the extra five, $15 a month, uh, you can choose your subscription. We would really appreciate you guys being there and we we want to have some fun with you guys. So are we going to catch our own food? Um, yes. Yes, that's the plan. Eventually. Banner's been trying. We've just been out in like the Tampa Bay and the channel um, pretty much Which since we've been on the, the boat. Which is not the best for fishing. Yeah, so we haven't really caught anything. But as soon as we get into the ocean, we're hoping like we're just going to be trolling as we're sailing which is letting a line out and just hoping a fish catches on. Uh, I've been catching a bunch of small fish here in the marina, but it's like mostly like Curvel Jack and I don't know, this water is really dirty in the marina. A little sketch to eat it. Yeah, but in the Bahamas, we'll have our pole spears too. So we're gonna attempt doing that. Um, there's lots of things to eat out there. And there's just so much better fishing out there. Even on the east coast of Florida, you know, the west coast is great, but you really gotta like, get out of the channel and get a little further and that just that takes us like four or five hours to get out there on a sailboat and so it's yeah. kind of crazy okay, are we prepared for rough weather um no we're not prepared yet, <laughs> but we're but gonna we be before be. we leave here how do we do laundry on board uh hand washing everything i'm gonna have to get a clothesline uh to attach or we can use a rope but um, I'm also ordering like a little foldable bucket. You just hand wash it and that's how it's got to be. At the marina, we're lucky enough to have laundry up there. It is like $1.50 per each load. So it's like $3 per load to do wash and dry um, or even more if it's a big load. When are we setting sail? And we're officially like leaving this marina at the end of February. We should possibly have my dad aboard to do the first sail to go to Key West. Um, and this then, is the year 2021. Yes, for our future if We're still sailing in a we're few years sailing. back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, once we go to the Key, Key West, we're gonna go back up to West Palm and then mid-March, or mid to early to mid to late March, we're planning on heading to the Bahamas. So. I wanna leave as soon as possible, but her birthday is March 17th and we might do like a celebration before we leave. That's kind of 
we'll see. We'll see. All right, last question for now. Um, are we going to cross the Pacific? Uh, we would love to do some circumnavigation and just go all over the world. Unfortunately, um, the boat that we're on is not completely well equipped for these long, long crossings. Um, it could be with experience, we might be able to go. Um, but as of now, we probably won't be able to cross the Pacific. We are hoping to cross the Atlantic maybe towards the end of our, um, yeah. We it, we would like to maybe one day do like, you know, go across like the Panama Canal and go to California and Mexico, you know, Cabo, all those places like that. But not right now. We really want to stay in the Caribbean for now. As long as we can. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope we answered all or most of your questions. If we did not, please leave them in the comments below. We will either answer them or save them for our next Q&A. Um, so Stay tuned for more videos. We do have a like long video releasing every week and then we're throwing in some other videos as well to keep you guys entertained during the week. Uh, so stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, also check out our Patreon if you have the ability to do that and follow us on Instagram at SailingZola. And if you guys like want to see any videos, like I think one of our next videos, we're going to do a docking video, how to get in and out of our marina slip because it's pretty small. If you guys want to see anything in particular, like raising the sails, actually sailing. Yeah, teaching stuff. We don't know if we want to do like teaching videos yet, but we're not really ready to teach yet. Other, <laughs> other than docking, we're getting pretty comfortable. It's docking, more like but... learn with us. Yeah. Um, just comment if you guys want to see. Yeah, anything or if you just like our day to day lives, um, which is what I like filming. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. See you guys She's next not time. Too sad about that part. <laughs>